How does one make flower essences? Well, flower essences originally were discovered by a man named Dr. Edward Bach in the 1930s in England. And what he discovered was that through the contact of the dew or the water that accumulated on the petals of the flowers, that really electromagnetically, the quality of that dew was, cha was changed. Um, and it turned into something that then, from his perspective, could be used to deal with the psychological perspective or profile of everyone from, from his perspective. Um, basically, at this point, almost all of the people that I'm aware of who make flower essences use a sun distillation mm -hmm. system where, uh, simply put, you, you cover usually cover the surface of the bowl with freshly picked flowers that you haven't touched or interacted with um, with your body. And those go into a virgin bowl that's been cleared and cleaned with, of all other energy distraction. And that's left in the sun for at least five hours. Mm -hmm. uh, the additional thing is there, there is the role of intention here. And it's really not very complicated from, from my perspective, and I can say that I have a lot of energetic feedback, that when I prepare a flower, a flower essence tinctures, and when I begin the process, the flowers are in the bowl, everything's set, the sun is happening, but it, it, it really doesn't start happening until I then energetically connect with the energy that's behind the flowers, mm -hmm. the energy of everything that's going on in that area. And I ask, please now begin the process of transferring your energy into this water. Mm -hmm. And I can, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling shivers just mentioning it, but that's sort of what happens. Mm -hmm. It's like all of a sudden a field that I can, abs I can actually feel begins. Right. When you connect with the devas of the flowers and the energy of everything that you're doing. They're waiting for instruction, yeah. simply put. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they're meant to be shared. They want to be shared mm -hmm. and of course the clearer and cleaner and correct, mm -hmm. the more correct everything is the better. Yeah, um, I work with sunflower essences as well from the Amazon and you can feel the same I'm sure as you do, you can feel the energy of the, the flower essence wanting to assist us. It's mm -hmm. like this is the time and we need these subtle um, medicines because they are like medicine, these subtle yeah. medicines. I know we were talking earlier about how medicines that we use now all began with plants. They may be synthetic now, but they began with plants and flowers and roots. And I think that coming back to how things were is really going to assist us all. Well, I hope you're right. <laughs> well, I think the work that you're doing is amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so can you tell us a little bit more about how you went from um, working with flower essences to integrating it into where you live here and the culture that we have? Well, first of all, we're in Hawaii, and before I began, I, well, really when I came to Hawaii in, in the beginning, I really felt it was necessary to immerse myself as much as I could in the culture and the history and how things worked here. And there's a great tradition in Hawaii of using plants uh, and the more you go into it, it isn't, just, it isn't just a slop job. It's very conscious, the time of day, the, the situation, the direction that one approaches the plant from, the the conscious communication to the plant, and this is all Hawaiian tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't use the flowers per se that, that anyone um, that I've ever been able to determine uh, can tell me, but they did use the same parts of, of the, the other parts of the flower, but they had that same consciousness, mm -hmm. and they still, as we see in many examples today, still have that same consciousness that a flower essence producer has in actually gathering and in 
helping the, the plant itself go through the process of turning it into uh, a tincture. Mm -hmm. So are you talking about la'au, lapa'au? Yes. And how the, the traditional Hawaiian uh, herbal medicine is, is begun and used. Yes. 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 Yeah. And it all begins with intention and with prayer. You know, just as you were saying, how you hold that intention and then bring your energy into it and ask yes. the plant. Yes. So did that influence you um, in your work as well? When the, you were doing the, that study? The, well, everything's influenced me in my, in my work. Um, and, and I would really say that, you know, just using the word work, it's, it's really been in, in my play and in my discovery. Uh, it's, it, it's been an unfolding that, that's really been hard to imagine for me how the unfolding uh, will take place in the future. Uh, I, I'm a way different person than I was when I, when, before I began making flower essences. It's had an extraordinary influence on me, um, both the making of flower essences and, of course, then being a flower essence practitioner mm -hmm. is probably even more influential. So flower essences work on the body, the mind, the spirit, the emotional body. It works on everybody. It, 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 the way I look at it, flower essences primarily work on the patterns and behavioral blockages that people develop being raised by their parents and their particular influences. Um, and those, those patterns uh, in many cases are an individual's an attempt to adapt and survive mm -hmm. on this planet. Um, dad is rough and talks loud to me and I make a decision as a child I'm never going to be exposed to people that treat me this way again. And that's never examined again in a whole lifetime. Well, flower essences are the kind of thing that then re-examine these primary filters of the way we perceive things that are developed from our childhood and our own attempt to survive. And, and basically what occurs then is the flower essence dissolves the energetic imprint of that pattern and without the pattern in place a person's then free to evolve without the same skip in the record every day that you know so it really works on the mental and emotional body it really can assist you in releasing patterns and becoming the person that you want to be it, and it it's really for people who are beyond survival. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not a survival medicine. It's, it's, a, it's a medicine for what do you do after you've got the wolf out of the cave yeah. and you're sitting there examining your life and why you're here and what you I intend to have occur during your lifespan. Mm -hmm. And all that kind of introspection is the, is the very thing which sort of opens the door to these old patterns. Mm -hmm. And, and this is a way then to eliminate them right. in addition to the many ways that the world offers. Mm. Well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your wisdom about flower essences today. I hope that people really get a chance to uh, explore that on their own and come into that place of releasing survival and moving forward on their path. Yeah, and I'm flower so essences is really be a tool for that. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like to know more about Ken Carlson's Flower Essences, you can visit his website at www.starmen.com. That's S-T-A-R-M-E-N.com. Thank you so much, Ken. And our next musical guest will be Elle and Amy, so please join us. <laughs>